Hello, this is Neil Walters with NeilsVideos.com. A couple of days ago, I bought my first ERC20 tokens, and I made a video about it, but it was kind of long because I was going through it and I was learning as I go. So now I've made a list of all the steps and put on my website, CryptoBB.com, and today I'm going to just follow through those steps and show you the steps that you need to do to buy an ERC token. And in this, event, this video, I'm going to buy the uh, EOS token because a lot of us on Steemit are liking the sound of EOS, and there's going to be a conference going on in Europe very shortly, and I want to make sure I get in on some of that before it uh, maybe goes up. So let's start. The first step here is to make sure you have some Ethereum to invest. So I already have some Ethereum in my Coinbase. I'm assuming that you already know how to get that far, right? But basically, Coinbase is my on-ramp. That's how I transfer money from my bank account into an Ethereum wallet. So I want to send some Ethereum from that wallet over to my Ether Delta wallet. So if you just go and search Ether Delta, this thing is going to come up. And by the way, what I want to do is pick the token up here. So the other day in my previous video, I bought EMV, uh, Entertainment Movie Venture Tokens. And now I want to come down here and I'll look for EOS and pick that. And first up, before I even do anything, I really want to just check some prices, right? So um, I also just went over to, let me just close this and do it again. Just went to Google, typed in EOS price chart because you want to make sure that you're buying at the right time and the right price, right? So this is the current price. It's $1.33 US dollars, but what is more important is the current Ethereum price, which is 0 0.004, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then here's the price chart. You see there was a surge then, and it's kind of been slightly going down recently. And again, you can kind of move this bar and see like what it's done in the last few days or week or something like that. And so, you know, that's a good time to buy as any, I think. So I'm going to start now by getting my Ethereum address. Okay, uh, it says private key here, so I don't want to show that screen. Okay, so if you just Google, you'll find Ether Delta. And I'm going to slide this over a little bit. What we want to do is check the uh, lowest red price here. And so we see, I'm going to just go ahead and click this temporarily. This is the current buy price. And you can see this is the price right here. So I'm going to put that in Notepad for just a second. Okay, so I put the price here in Notepad. And then here I put the price from this other screen, which was called Coin Market Cap. And I got the Ethereum price there. And I also put it in the Notepad. So what we're saying now is are we willing to pay this price here that I just highlighted, which is actually just a little bit more than the quote unquote street price on coin market cap. And you know, I'm still a little bit, bit of a beginner at this, but I would say, you know, that's what I'm gonna have to pay right now. So I mean it'd be my choice if I want to wait around and see if a lower price comes along, but I'm kind of anxious to buy, right? And that's what makes the market go up and down when people are anxious and they don't have time to wait, right? Plus they're make, I'm making a video and I want you to see this. So so back to Ether Delta. Uh, I'm going to cancel. I'm not going to buy yet because I have to put some Ether in here. So I come over here and I get my address. And I had two of them. Even though it says private here, the private key is actually hidden. This is the public key. Uh, okay, so let me show you something. I had two accounts here. And the second one is the one I want. So when I click on it, it actually puts the key here. Okay, so this is actually the first little challenge here is how do you copy this key? Because you see when you click on it, that's not actually allowing you to copy the text. But one trick I found, I guess, here is if you click Etherscan address, it'll open up the Etherscan site, and then that should be your key right there. And you just want to validate for sure that that is your right key. So I'm going to also paste that into Notepad here. I'm going to call this my Ether Delta Wallet. And just to prove that that's it, you can see what I did the other day. This is where I bought my uh, EMV tokens. So you see here, Ethereum Movie Venture. And so this is definitely the trades I was making a couple days ago. Okay, so I'm going to go to Coinbase now. And I'm going to paste in that address. 
And I, as I warned people in the other video, they're actually what they call viruses that will sometimes change the address when you paste it. So you just want to check at least like the first and last few letters are the same, probably F178 and ends with 1A9. This is the scariest thing still about doing Bitcoins, right? Is if, if you send the money to the wrong address, you know, it can be gone forever, right? F178, F178. So, okay, that's good to go. And I'm going to do about three Ethereum on this. And I'm going to send just a little bit extra here. I'm going to put 3.01 because there's going to be these different fees associated with everything. And I'll make a note here. This is to Ether Delta for EOS purchase. And again, you just double check everything before you send it. Is this where I really want to send it? And from my Ethereum wallet, this will be my network fee. Yes, that's okay. Confirm. So now we can actually go to that Ether scan over here and we can watch the money show up. You can see it's pending right now. Hit refresh, still pending. So we're waiting on that little block to get written and confirmed. Refresh. And there it is. So I want to do this video in real time. So see, it took about 30 seconds. That's pretty good, I'd say. And uh, now if I go to Ether Delta and let's do a refresh. You see right here it says ETH 3.04. So I think I had a little bit of a fraction of one in there before. So I'm going to move the screen over just a little. You won't be able to see it all. Now, we want to deposit that Ethereum into our smart contract that's built into Ether Delta. So let me show you what we're doing, by the way. We're going through my steps here on CryptoBB. So it says the first step is to make sure you have some Ethereum. If you don't have a suitable wallet, I'm talking about using Parity. That's where we're going to hold our tokens when we're done. Transfer the amount of Ethereum you want to invest into your Ether Delta account. I just did that. And now in the Ether Delta, select the EM or whatever token you want to buy. Now we're going to do EOS. I've already done that. Uh, enter the amount of Ethereum and click the deposit key to move your Ethereum to the Ether Delta smart contract. Make sure you have a little extra to cover the fees. Okay, so we're going to click. Um, actually, it's on the transfer. No, hang on. Sorry. Okay. Sometimes I get confused on these buttons. So you hear that little one. You click the deposit button first, and I think that's what I already had here. See, there's these three different buttons here. And so the screen changes depending on which one you're on. So here I'm going to put 3.02, and I'm going to click deposit. Okay, and that is my transaction. And again, if you right click on that, it'll go to um, Etherscan and you can see it going from pending to actually completed. And I'm assuming it's going to take 30 seconds, so I'll come back just that amount of time. OK, here it is. It actually took maybe two, two and a half minutes total time that time. So now we go back to Ether Delta. And now the 3.04, <clears throat> instead of being here in my wallet, is now under Ether Delta. It says this is the balance you have deposited in your personal Ethereum wallet to the Ether Delta smart contract, blah, 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 right? So now we're going to buy some EOS tokens. So again, we found EOS here. And we're going to go, of course, with the lowest price, which would be in red. These are the buy prices in green and the sell prices. So if you're buying, you'd want to go with the uh, selling, you want to go with the highest price, right? And you can also put your own order in for the future, but that's another discussion, right? So we want to buy right now. So we're going to click this one. And <clears throat> what that guy is willing to sell 150 EOS tokens. So when you enter a number here, okay, it's going to tell you how many Ethereum that will take. Now, in this case, I actually want to invest three Ethereum. So we have a decision to make. Do I want to find some guy here that has the equivalent of three um, 
three Ethereum or I just want to grab the lowest price. So now, unfortunately, you're going to have to play the math game. So you have to decide if you want to split your order up into two different chunks or two or three chunks here to get the lowest price, or you just want to make it easy and order, you know, one big order at that price, higher price. And so just to see the difference, let's take my three divided by 0 0.005 now. And that means I would get 600 tokens. at the 0 0.05 price. Okay, so remember the US dollar price was $1.32. So let's think in US dollars here. Um, that's 38 tokens times uh, $1.32. So that's about a $50 difference. So, you know, it's how much is your time worth, right? I think Right now, it'd be worth my time to save as much of the $50 as I could. So I'm going to go ahead and just take that first lowest price order. I'm going to buy all that he has. So I'm going to click here. And I can only buy $150. Uh, there's the how much ETH it's going to cost me. So that'll give me, let me just write that down, 705 ETH. This is why I like to keep the notepad handy here. So we're going to buy 705 times 0 0.0047, and that's going to leave me about 2. Point, almost almost 2.30, but actually be 295, right? That's going to give me how much left to make my next purchase. And I'm going to click buy, and there's our transaction. So again, you go over here and you watch it happen. I'll pause the video. Okay, I literally turned my head and came back. So I know it finished in like 30 seconds. So now if you come back to your Ether Delta wallet, you see now I have EOS, I have 150 in my contract. And so what we're gonna have to do in a minute is we'll withdraw it from the contract into my Ether Delta wallet. But let's do it all at once. So now, I wonder if I have to hit a refresh. This order should be gone. So let's hit refresh here. Yeah, and see, so now the next lowest price is 0 0.005, and that guy has 46 to sell, but then there's another guy at the same price has 1,431 to sell. So now, how much can I buy? Okay, I just did the math, took 2.295 divided by 0 0.005, and I can buy 459 tokens, and I'll go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to click here on this one. And I don't want to buy all his tokens. If I tried to buy more than I have over here, of course, it's not going to let me. So, see, that would cost me 7.159 ETH. I only have 2.3 ETH or less. Actually, let me do that calculation again. See that 2.33? Uh, okay, they only made one token different, but I'm going to spend 2.3 and get... The 460 tokens. Okay, so I'm going to click here and I type in my number of tokens, which short term memory is 460. Tab off of it, it'll give you the recomputed price, which is 2.3, which is what we wanted. And I click buy. And then we go over here and do tab. Now, if I was more patient, again, I could have put an order in over here that says I want to buy at some price, but then I might sit there for a day or two or three until somebody actually takes my price. So when you're patient, that might be the smarter thing to do.
Okay, that probably took a minute, maybe 15 seconds that time. Back to Ether Delta. Let's see, do I need to refresh? I don't know how many confirmations it needs before it updates this. Let's hit refresh just to be sure. Oh, there it is, 610. Okay, I didn't have to hit refresh. It, it kind of did it on its own. And now you let's go back to my steps. So remember, we're following my website, CryptoBB, here. And we just went through this process of number six, buying. And now we need to withdraw our tokens from the contract to our wallet, even though we're still in the land of Ether Delta. Okay, so here we're just going to say withdraw. And we're going to do the whole 610. Click the withdraw button. And guess what? Another transaction goes off to Ethereum land. And so again, I'll wait for this one to complete. Okay, that one finished, and now I have four confirmations. So I went off and did something else real quick there. And now just give it a second for this to refresh. Now you see your 610 EOS over here, and now you want to transfer them. It seems kind of redundant that we just withdrew them, but now they're sitting in the Ether wallet, and now we want to send them to my Parity wallet. So again, here we click the transfer button and I'm gonna paste in my Parity wallet here and obviously check it and then I'm gonna hit transfer. We are transferring uh, EOS, not Ethereum. I could transfer either one. And there we go, the transfer. Oh, the amount, uh, the whole 610. And you get the idea here. We're going to go to EtherScan and wait for this to get uh, committed. Okay, that was super fast, maybe 15 seconds that time. So now we're going to go to Parity Wallet, which runs, right now it's running under my IE browser. I think that must be my default browser on my computer. And <clears throat> what this will have to do is, you know, in the background, it's downloading blocks from Ethereum to your computer. And so you have to have the whole blockchain or node to, to be on your computer to run as a node. And then your uh, tokens will show up here. And actually, I got a little alert in the lower right-hand corner of my screen. And it said, you just received so many EOS tokens. And there they are. So uh, the EOS guys look like they, they didn't create an icon or something. I don't know who creates these icons. But you see the EMV token is like a movie director. And then Ethereum looks kind of like Ethereum's logo. So EOS doesn't have a good logo here yet. But that's what we did. We just bought using Ethereum. I bought uh, EOS tokens for the first time. I'm an investor in it now. And I have them here in my Parity wallet. And now again, I hope the price goes up, obviously. Now, the thing I would do, I'm going to start studying next, is, you know, I could have spent way too much money tonight because it says here the, the street price, whatever, is 0 0.004. And remember over here, I ended up paying 0 0.05, which is like 20% more. So I don't know if that price there is the uh, buy price or the sell price or like the average or the mean between the two. That's one thing I'm going to have to research. So until I learn more... My uh, passion is getting in the way maybe of how much I'm spending here. So hope you enjoyed this video on how to invest in any ERC-20 token. And tonight we bought some EOS using Ether Delta and put it in the